hello and welcome to this tutorial uh, in this tutorial i will uh, demonstrate the pro the procedure to to use the pspy software for simulating a simple uh, first order circuit consisting of a capacitor and a resistor so this uh, problem that i have selected for this simulation is uh, presented by uh, the book of uh, richard sheet dorf introduction to electrical circuits and this example number is 8.3-1 now if we see here that this circuit consists of an 8 volt source uh, as well as a 2 volt source and there is a switch which will be turned on at time t is equal to 0 uh, and later on we have to actually see what is the response of this capacitor with the, the variation in the time. So let us uh, do this in the p spice. Uh, in here we have the p spice we have uh, here we, we have the components so if we go for the sources we need two uh, DC sources available. Uh, VDC uh, we need to have a VDC so here we can uh, can get this VDC this is one VDC and this is the, the second VDC uh, we also we need to have uh, from this analog we, we want to have a capacitor so this capacitor is here if we can if we uh, click on R it will be rotated in this in this configuration so uh, we have placed a capacitor we also need a resistance which is available in this analog block by the name of R so if we use this R here uh, then our circuit is almost complete but we also need to have a switch which will be turned on at time t is equal to 0 and that switch is actually uh, available in this library which is the analog miscellaneous library even if you click here we have this switch at t open so at t is equal to 0 we will turn on this switch so I am going to place it here and if uh, also we need to have a ground block here which is available from this side uh, we need to take the ground with this zero sign on it so that the piece can recognize this uh, the symbol now we need to connect it so we can uh, press on W and we can connect uh, these components so we have connected all the components uh, sorry we, we need to connect this line as well and if we see here that these all components are connected perfectly you can just you know uh, uh, move these lines a little bit to see if there is any unconnected uh, point so this is equal to 8 volt so I will put 8 here this is 10k this is 2 micro so for micro you write to you uh, this is a switch and here we have 2 volt now we have to uh, add some prob here so uh, since we want to see the, the response of the capacitor voltage so we can put a prob here uh, this will serve the purpose and then we will go to the uh, to the p spice and we will create a new simulation profile let us call this r and i am creating this one so here we need to have a general analysis so for 1000 nanosecond uh, and because the time constant is 20 milliseconds so we can have something around 150 millisecond is enough uh, uh, to demonstrate uh, this thing uh, this will show us the initial condition if we if we don't skip this it will start from zero so let us see what will happen if we simulate this uh, this particular circuit now as you see I have simulated this circuit and we have sorry we need to again uh, because we have created a new simulation profile so we need to add this prob without the prob you can see that uh, there is no uh, graph uh, shown in this in this figure so I will click on this voltage prob and will put it here and then I will again simulate this one and this time you can see we have a graph and at t is equal to 0 if you can see uh, this switch was closed and therefore this capacitor of 2 micro Farad had a voltage source voltage equal to 2 volt because of this uh, direct parallel connection of this uh, this voltage source with this one so it is starting from this 2 at 20 millisecond because this time constant tau which is equal to uh, r into c is equal to 20 millisecond so you can see at 20 millisecond it has reached up to uh, this point with this po at this point particular point if i can uh, show you the grids here uh, at this particular point of 20 millisecond we have an approximate voltage of 5.8 volt and because it is starting from uh, from 2 volt so this means this is 3.8 volt with respect to the final value of 8 volt 
because it is starting from uh, from this uh, from this two, so the so the final value is six volt away from the initial point. So if we divide this six, if we if we divide this value of uh, uh, three point eight, three point eight divided by six, it gives us a value equal to sixty three percent, which means that at 63% of the initial value uh, uh, of the final value has reached in one time constant but the most important point here is which I, I need to elaborate uh, for this particular uh, you know video here is that if you see here that this line should actually go to this 8 volt but it is not uh, you know reaching this 8 volt even if I simulate this uh, for a long time so let us uh, uh, let us increase this one to up to 1500 millisecond and re-simulate this circuit. Now you see that this line is actually not reaching this 8 volt. However, I can further elaborate this thing if I zoom it to, uh, if, I, if I increase this one, you see that we have actually a voltage difference between these two points. And this voltage difference is actually uh, uh, not a you know not a trivial difference because you can see there is a point zero five volt difference, but it should not happen. Practically, it should not uh, you know practically there is a possibility because of the accuracy of the equipment. But for the simulation, since we have the capacitor available and all the things uh, according to the piecewise model, so it should actually get fully charged, and as a result of that, it should provide us exactly eight volt. Now we have to see where is the problem. Uh, as far as my investigation is concerned, if we double click on this switch, then we can uh, see the properties of this switch and from this property we can see that the R open which is the resistance of this switch when it is turned on is equal to 1 mega ohm. If I replace this to 1T which is 1 tera, then this, is, this will be very high and as a result you will see that if I now re-simulate this circuit, it is going exactly at 8, at 8 volt. Which means that now there is no, uh, you know, current coming from the two volt uh, source uh, connected to this uh, particular circuit. And now, if I if I simulate this one here, uh, you can see. Uh, just a minute, uh, I need to I need to uh, vary this one. Let us make it up to nine volt and make it seven point eight to eight point two. Then we have exactly eight volts available. And this exactly 8 volt is because of uh, the modification that we have done uh, in this in this in this given circuit. So uh, uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you very much.